हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सॉर्ट ऑफ क्लासेस टुडे आर टॉपिक इज रीजनिंग एप्टीट्यूड एंड हियर सम क्वेश्चन आर गिवन बट एट फर्स्ट हियर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन आर गिवन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो एट फर्स्ट नाउ लेट्स रीड द इन्फॉर्मेशन वेरी केयरफुली एम इज द मदर ऑफ बी सो इट्स गिवन दैट एम इज द मदर ऑफ बी ए इज द फादर ऑफ एन एन इज द ओनली ब्रदर ऑफ बी and c is married to n q is the only child of c n does not have any sister and j is the father of a so now uh, let's make a relation diagram on the basis of this informations so j is the father of a so let's take j here and as his male so denote it as plus now here is a and the relation is father now m and a are married to each other so they are couple okay b is okay it was given that a is the mother of b so here the relation is mother mother and here is b so he is also the son and brother is n so b and n are the two son of m and a now the relation between a and n is father now it is given that n is married to c so they are couple and let's denote c as minus because um, it's a female she is a female and now the relation between a and c is father in law now uh q is the child of c and n so here is q and he is a daughter so here is q and the relation between j and b here is j okay let me take a new color okay so the relation between j and b is grandson so b is the grandson of j and the relation between b and q is niece so q is the niece of b so we have prepared the relation diagram here now we will solve the questions here is our first question and the question is if a does not have if a does not have any grandson then how is q related to b so we have to find the relation between q and b if a doesn't have any grandson so if a doesn't have any grandson so so we assume that we assume that q is the baby girl that q is the baby girl so 
from the above relation diagram from the relation diagram that we prepared before relation diagram it is very clear that q is the niece of b q is the niece of b so option 4 that is niece is the correct answer so here option 4 is the answer now here is the next question and the question is how is a related to c so basically we have to find out the relationship between a and c so from the diagram we can easily say that a is the father-in-law of c so option 3 that is father-in-law is the correct answer now here is our next question and this is the last question the question is how is b related to j so we have to find out the relationship between b and j so from the uh, relation diagram it's very clear that b is the grandson of j so option 5 is the correct answer that is grandson